After a swarm of small earthquakes in Oklahoma, the state has ordered oil drillers today to reduce the amount of wastewater that they inject into the ground during a process known as fracking. Here's Mark Strassman. Oklahoma, not California, is now America's earthquake capital. Hi, who do you call if you feel an earthquake? Until 2008, the state averaged one or two a year. Now, it's almost three a day. It was a big boom, and everything started shaking. Including you. Including me. A 4.5 magnitude earthquake hit Crescent, Oklahoma last July. Grocery clerk Lois Gillette hugged a co-worker. I thought I was going to fall, and there was a lot of stuff fell off the shelves. Oklahoma keeps breaking records for earthquakes with a magnitude of 3.0 or higher, more than 900 last year alone. But why? Most geologists connect the spike in earthquakes to the state's oil and gas industry and its disposal of massive amounts of water into underground caverns. Geologist Todd Hallahan teaches at Oklahoma State. Unfortunately, we have a side effect that we've now, we're generating seismicity due to the injection wells. These are pretty startling when you feel them, um, and there's now a lot of people being experiencing them on a pretty broad scale. Lois Gillette isn't taking sides. Well, I don't know if it's man-made. I don't have any idea. You'd just like it to stop. I want it to stop, please. One geologist we talked to, Scott, said no question, something has reactivated fault lines here, fault lines that had been dormant for 300 million years. Mark Strassman, thanks, and we'll be right back. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.